Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about the Trustmaster TLCM pedals. These are kind of like my impressions or a review if you could so call it. I've been using them for a few months now. When I upgraded from the Logitech G923 pedals I was surprised at how much stronger the brake was. So I didn't configure the load cell to have a very high strength yet. I started uh, with my comfort zone from the old muscle memory and with marginal increases of strength I started to little by little get used to a stronger brake pedal. In the next day I started beating most of my previous lap times, especially because it was really easy to threshold and trail brake. Logitech pedals were great for their price point, but even with their stiffer spring I had to use the gamma curve to control a bit the initial travel and the sensibility of the pedal. The software for the TLCM pedals is pretty simple and lightweight to use, very straightforward functions there. The safe function however requires you to disconnect and reconnect the pedals, which can be a little bit annoying. There is a small level of adjustability, but I didn't feel the need to do much on these pedals. It is mostly on the pedal faces that we can adjust the positions and I just moved the brake to the side a little bit away from the gas pedal. Right when I started using these pedals, I noticed a lot more precision from the high resolution Hall effect sensors and the impact that it had on my performance on track. With time, I started noticing some minimal lateral flex on the pedals if I was wearing socks. With shoes, it won't be noticeable, and during the races I didn't notice it that much and wasn't affected by it. Regarding this, I would like Trustmaster to use metal bases under the pedals, like uh, the G29 pedal designs have used. Still, the Trustmaster TLCMs are a totally worthwhile upgrade considering that they give you substantially more control. I have to tell you that I do not own a cockpit yet, so I'm stuck between a bed and a wall with zero flex but I can't do much to adjust my position. Notice I've put a heavy battery with protective cloths on the clutch side on top of the pedals to keep the strength as high as possible in the load cell without making the pedals move. If I wanted a cockpit, the cockpit would need to be very rigid in order to cope with the brake strength. In that case I could consider a very very cheap mod where we can use industrial elastometers with metal shims instead of the stock springs. With the correct elastometer mod the brake can be made heavier and the pedal travel can be made a bit shorter. If overdone it can separate load cells so the correct rigidness will be very important. Reasons to get these pedals over their direct competition the CSL pedals. First, you have more adjustability in the brake rigidness and even adjustability in the movement if you mod it. And you also have the adjustable pedal faces. Second, you can enjoy more pedal travel and a higher resolution on the hall sensors. These pedals are also very easy to use if you don't own a cockpit yet. My only complaint comparing to the CSL would be the lack of metal bases for the pedal arms. I have to warn you that the pedal faces can be slippery on some shoes and shred the soles on other shoes. So, in conclusion, these pedals are easy to get set up and use and they make the driving more intuitive. Good luck, that's your quickest today. They provide insane value for their price point. If you wanted a better pedal set with more features and higher build quality, you would need to spend at least twice as much. And even then, you'll be compromising and the best and most notable upgrades you can get from this pedal set will cost you at least 3 times as much as this one. In my opinion, these pedals are one of the best budget options anyone could have, especially if you don't have the funds to get proper racing pedals. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, please leave your comments, likes and subscribe to the channel and thank you very much for watching.